Hello everybody, Safety here again with another astronaut run. So last time we did some weird things with the uh, Berserker and yeah, the rest of the crew. <laughs> the carry Berserker against the carry... What was it again? I don't even remember. Ah, the tank wild mage, yes, of course. Of course, how could I forget? <laughs> so today let's, uh, let's try something different. Let's go for an alchemist plus... I don't know, Outlaw Poison Bolt. And then, who should accompany them? So the Alchemist is going to be attack speed, and the Outlaw is going to be, I don't know, off tank? Plus poison? What could we add to this? I guess we could add more poison with the Assassin, but he's low. Uh, let's, let's add a Pyro. Just for the fun of it. Why not? Let's add a Pyro here. Actually, let's add an Illusionist. I changed my mind. Let's add the Illusionist. As while the Outlaw will be hidden, the Illusionist will actually have the Illusions tank. If this works. Okay, let's go. So if this would work normally, then the Outlaw goes hidden and the next one attacked will be the Illusionist, right? Okay, it worked. Let's get some attack speed. And some damage. Yeah, let's get some damage first. So this next fight should be a win. Let's split the team around. So that only the Outlaw gets damaged. Very nice. Uh, Saints Vow. Okay, let's get the Saints Vow. And let's go on. We continue in the middle. I think it's the easiest way. Come on, get the team together. I'm giving the attack speed to the... Oh yeah, I forgot to say the passives. So he at half-life gains hidden and redirects the attacks and heals. And as an active, he just poisons the enemy. And then the poison gets transferred as well. Illusionist, when he attacks, he might swap him. Nice, we got the traps for the caster. Illusionist, as I said. Let's go for the event. Illusionist, uh, he has a chance to change position with an illusion and don't get the hit, so he doesn't get damaged. And as an, so Illusionist has a chance when, when somebody attacks him, he places an illusion in his place and then the enemy attacks the illusion and he just blinks away. We'll go to the shop. And as an active, he summons an illusion and which has a part of his stats. And as a last... Passive, uh, the last player is Alchemist, who attacks with poison and also gives buffs to friends. And as an active, he duplicates poisons. So there's that. You just saw the blink, if you saw it. And the Illusionist is alive. Nice, we gain more moral. Let's, uh, let's actually take this Ascension Cloak, redirecting attacks. Hoping that the Illusionist will redirect the attack to an Illusion. If this works like I hope it does, then yeah, we got a build going. If we get Lich's Wraps and Symbiote and the Shenzhen Cloak, then we will have like 20... A lot of illusions. Do we even have this fight? I'm not sure we got this fight. Come on, Poison. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. This team, I really don't like this team. And now the outlaw will go down for sure. Okay, nice. Let's get some more defensive items. Actually, let's get the defense gauntlet on the outlaw. And off we go to the event. Passive. You know what? Let's give it to the alchemist for more buffs to the team. Let's get the MP and continue. We go to bottom. We should have the bottom bot at this the bottom fight at this point with so many uh, items. Okay, I think this fight we don't even have. Yep, Illusion is down. 
And now it's time for the alchemist to draw. Okay, he survived. Nice. Let's get the enchanter's chainmail. I think it's one of the better items. As long as it's level 2. Because it gives burn and also like 3 more immunities. Poison and... I think it's, it gives poison immune and bleed immune and, po and as well as burn immune. So that's pretty much all the dangerous debuffs. The only debuff... Yeah, pretty much the, all the dangerous debuffs that destroy you. Poison maybe not that dangerous. Come on, give me more. Nice. Very nice. And we even got the rever rev reverberating bul bulwark. Bulwark. Yeah, let's pick it up. It seems like it's not good. Because it's just 30% attack damage to themselves. But the enemies have like 300 attack. So when they attack, they get hit for a lot. Nice, we got the Minus Spring Amulet. I said I wanted to go for Castle Illusionist. So let's go. Let's even upgrade it. And let's give the passive to the Alchemist. And also that. let's give that to the Alchemist as well. So let's go on. Now we just need a symbiote. So select an upgrade item. What is the next combat? The next combat I can force here to be with a simple enemy. So yeah, let's actually pay some to get some. Nice, nice, nice. We got the mittens. Let's go with the double mittens here. And let's go to the battle so that we have no battle with... Yeah, this is going to be a loss because we have low HP. But maybe we are lucky. You never know. Maybe the illusionist spawns so many illusions that we somehow magically survive this. Doesn't really look like it. Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> it's okay. We lost another Lich Raps, but we wouldn't have picked it up anyway, I think. Let's go for the boss battle. This should be a win. Uh, yeah, let's fight. I don't even know if the Saints Vow helps... The alchemist in any way so i'm thinking about giving him the ascension cloak as always outlaws down can the others two do it will i lose in this boss is this run already lost i haven't a single potion here yeah this looks very lost we won <laughs> this looks very lost and we win <laughs> at the start of combat and every five seconds game shield equal to 100 percent 150% of your defense. You know what? We pick this up. And... Or should we get... It's either Shard of the Deep on the Alchemist or Final Bastion on the Wild Mage. Let's go Final Bastion on the Wild Mage. I'm picking up Wild Mage next. And then for the final pick, we most likely are going to pick... Bard. So let's pick the Wild Mage and go off for Wild Mage tank. Let's give him the final bastion. Let's give him the redirect in case he goes very low. Healing received is increased. I don't even have healing. Shield gain though. Let's go for the shield gain. And let's go top. And let's give the passive. The passive to the wild mage. And the active to the illusionist. And... And let's actually switch him over. Switch him back so that the no switch him back so it should be one, two, three, something like that. Let's hope for the best. Okay, he's getting destroyed. I'm not trusting the outlaw anymore. Okay, uh, wild mage tanking first. I'm never trusting the outlaw again. I don't understand how this this his passive doesn't work, or or it seems like it doesn't work, or. Or, the, the last uh, thing I can think of is like that all the enemies we fight are actually uh, have an ability that actually targets him somehow. Let's give this over to the Wild Mage. Actually, the Wild Mage is tanking, so is this HP based? No, this is defense based. Let's bring this guy in front. Let's... Uh... Yeah, let's go like that. So he should redirect, he should redirect. And then the illusionist will start getting attacked. Yeah, now 
Man, he's dead. Everybody, nobody knows how to redirect in this party. How so? How did the illusionist... The first person that gets targeted never redirects. From the second on, something happens. Let's go for the max HP on... Well, him. Grants... I'm not winning both prizes. I think I should go for the regalia though. To give it to the outlaw or the white mage. The sword I think is not good enough. Maybe on the alchemist. Can I even beat both? Let's go for both. Let's go for both. <laughs> and let's hope for the best. If the illusions start casting we can do something. Because he's attacking random targets. And the illusions are random targets as well. <laughs> the illusion is down already. Okay, we did not get destroyed. If we get some poisons off with the outlaw, then maybe the alchemist can do something. And the alchemist down, and we win still. We lost a lot of HP here, but I think it was... Whoa, regalia was upgraded. Definitely worth it. Let's go for the event. Let's give the regalia to the white mage. <laughs> Let's drop this bad item. Loot. Continue. Okay. Now let's give the 70 and 1.5. Okay, let's drop the burn. Let's get this over here. This is also useless. So might as well give him this bad item. <laughs> and yeah, I think we should be good to go. I guess. Wait, give this to him. And you heal a bit. You... Yeah, we need a bit of healing. The weakest hero. I hope this thing is not healing illusions. Let's go. Yeah, now the wild mage should, should be very tankable. Now we should be golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we are going places. Illusionist almost died. Noble ward. I think a noble ward on the outlaw is better than whatever this brain surge is. And let's go on. To the... We are going to go to this... No, we are not going to go to a merchant other than this one. Can I get a symbiote? Thank you, game. <laughs> uh, let's sell... I still want him to be a caster. This is a really bad item. Let's make him heal. At least in my opinion. Let's drop the things we are definitely not going to use. And let's actually sell everything so we get two upgrades. Yep, we can keep the saints well. So let's make the wild mage stronger. I'm trusting the wild mage on this one. And then the illusionist will come on later. After the wild mage becomes OP. Maybe I should even upgrade the final bastion. Well, whatever. Whatever. I think these two items will carry us. Uh, let's switch this around. And let's go. I don't think the Wild Mage will even drop a bit. He has so much defense right now. Yep, and the shield gets replenished. Now we just need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we are going places. Wild Mage will carry us once again. <laughs> Wild Mage, you are our savior. Let's go on. In case we get an event that says random upgrades, we would like to not have random items. Come on, give me the boss fight. Let's switch the team around and let's go. This is the healing? Where is this healing? I must see if that healing goes over to the illusions. Let's go to the event for the boss. Troopy Troopy still haven't gotten a single potion. Um, let's get three holy water for no, let's get three for holy water to lose the game. <laughs> let's gain just the holy water and go on. Time for the elite. Uh, we don't have any stealable buffs in my opinion. Maybe some heals or some other things, but yeah. This is, this is increased ability cost. Okay. And you're down. Nice. Wild Mage first again. Alchemist second with the poisons. Nothing from here. Let's go on. 
actives as i said i would like the illusionist to be first in actives what does this do when you're target defeat any poisons no no let's go with the illusionist so that we get stronger and more illusions i would like to get the symbiote as i said but we are still waiting on that white mage yeah he is going uh oh uh oh nice damage from the yeah he had like four illusions plus himself and did nothing <laughs> tower shield no i think nothing here let's go on event into elite passive orb Il wild mage nice let's go for i think the tank ability Although it doesn't actually help the Wild Mage, so maybe the casting? Yeah, let's go the casting. The tank ability doesn't help the Wild Mage because he already has the Prize Regalia, so it doesn't work. Now I will try something very weird, because he will one-shot the Wild Mage anyway. I will try for the Outlaw to get his hidden, and up to until the Outlaw gets his hidden going... I hope that the Illusionist will have spawned some Illusions to get the cast off. Let's see if this works. Okay, so he's hidden. But the boss still attacks him. I don't understand how this works. I don't understand how hidden works. At least the cast wasn't an Illusion. Somebody explain to me why half of the time the Outlaw passive does straight up not work. Um... Should I get Star Stongbird? Oh, no, he has the Scimitar. Let's go on. Uh, let's go for the event. Active. Uh, you know what? Upgrade random item. That's the reason we did not. Actually, nice. And nice. This one I didn't actually like. Active. I think... That, well, actually, we will go with the Bard next. So we will give the Bard the active orb. I will hide this guy. You, you Wild Mage. You carry us here. This guy, Outlaw, doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, look at this. Enemy attack, 300. So he gets back every hit. Illusion is down. Yeah, we need the healer here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Helm of the Mad King. Which gives speed and attack. Should we give this to the White Mage? Instead of the Reverberating Bulwark. I don't think it's worth it. This yellow thing, this yellow bar here, is the reverberating bulwark. So, or his passive. I think I think yellow is items. So I'm pretty sure this is the rever the rever reverberating bulwark. So helm of the mad king, no. Maiden's mirror. By any means, random damage here is additional. Let's uh, let's give this to the bard and see what happens. And see what happens. Because we don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, let's get the Bard so we can heal the illusions as well as the rest of the team. Let's make haste. Uh, normal items can only be found in events is what I'm going with. Let's go for the interstellar. Let's go middle which is anti heal but we don't really care. Let's give the actives to the healer. Let's give these things to the healer as well. And passive orb. I think we should put it on the outlaw. So he's in the sideline and gets destroyed. Yeah. Or the illusionist. No, let's go for the outlaw here. Although I still don't understand how the passive works. I mean, I understand how it works, but I don't understand why it doesn't work sometimes. Let's see if it works this time. When he goes half HP, will this guy stop targeting him? He should now. He did. Nice. Now he's attacking illusions. And the rest of the enemies are attacking the wild mage. Wild mage, can you survive this? Wild mage, no. No. And then, after the Wild Mage dropped, everybody's done. Now we win. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go on with a good item here. 
And let's go off with middle. I can switch these items over to the bard and get the free win. But I'm not doing that yet. I don't find any reason to do it from now. We wanted to try Illusionist Caster. It's not really that strong, but we wanted to do it, so we are doing it. And the Y, of course, is down. Oh, he survived. Nice. But he died. He survived, but he died. Illusions are attacking. Very nice. Uh, we got a Turner Talisman. Let's give that to the Bard. Although we could give him the Lich's Wraps. Let's give him the Lich's Wraps. Yeah, let's give the Lich's Wraps to the Bard. And let's go to the event. Because we want Interstellar. We did not get it. We don't care about the Holy Mother. At least not me. Let's go for the battle. We are going to go to the shop. So we got some ways ahead of us. So we don't get destroyed. These enemies remove debuffs. We don't care about that. We don't really debuff anybody. And Outlaw. He did not get hit. Maybe it doesn't work on bosses. I don't understand. Of course he died. The enemies are healing too much here. Yep, this is a loss. This is a loss. Deal person damage to 25 of your target's max HP and heal for the damage dealt. Of course. Steal 25 of your shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, we were completely countered. We go to the shop, as I said. So let's just go for Interstellar here. If we get it, that is. Uh, Realm Tooth. No, thank you. Although Realm Tooth is actually very nice. But I think the Bard is enough for us for this run. Maybe instead of... Nah, who cares. Fight it up. Let's get an uh, ability orb. We should have this fight easily. Let's change this team out around. Actually, we should... Yeah, let's change this team completely around. So you go here, you go here. Yeah, that should work. If he doesn't get blown up, which he will. Because you know the outlaw is very strong. And they are still attacking him and he's down. Redirect any enemies targeting you to their next target. It doesn't work. Either it doesn't work or I don't understand. Some enemies have passives. I I will look for the enemy's passives. Passive orb. Give it give it to the outlaw. Redirect any enemies targeting you and the next time remove all negative effects. Okay, so now he should like 100% survive. Let's switch, switch the team around again. And let's see if he survives. Now he should not be targeted anymore. Okay, he isn't targeted anymore. And the illusions come over to tank everything. Yeah, the enemies have stopped attacking the wild mage anyway. And you're down. Very nice. Very nice. No, thank you. <laughs> we got a reverie totem, but let's get the 34 gold. And let's go for the elite. This should be a win. We got the bard here. The bard should counter this completely. Uh, but you know what is not going to counter it? This guy. So let's actually make the Bard cast a little bit more this time. How much healing is the Bard doing? Okay, seems like the Wild Mage doing all the healing here. Oh, it's because nobody has lost life. Okay, got it. Now that we lose... Yeah, now that we lost life, the Bard's... Oh, Wild Mage dead. Of course. Let's continue with the money. And we will go to the shop. This elite, I think we will lose. So we can go event, event. Yeah, let's skip an elite and go event, event, fight. So we don't go to the shop without reason. And two events better than one. We got in the cellar. Exactly what we wanted. 448 gold. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think defenses is the way to go. I mean, the wild mage cannot lose defense. Illusionist will go to zero. Outlaw will go to normal numbers. And these two will go to zero. But do I care if my people go to zero defense? I think I do not. If I drop attack, then the Outlaw and the Alchemist I don't care about. The Wild Mage will... Yeah, the Wild Mage will do a lot of less damage from his passive. No, let's go defense. It's okay. It it wasn't really... It didn't felt very... 
it didn't felt very good, but it's okay. Let's go for gain gold. Let's continue here. Normal battle. Active. I'm not buffing the outlaw. I'm selling this for better items. Let's see. Okay, I want to see uh, to your target and allies gain to. Okay, I want to see if these people will negate his. Yeah, they negated. They negate the redirect. No, they did. They did get redirected. I don't understand why sometimes the redirection doesn't work. Okay, everybody will drop now. Enemies are... Oh, we are healing them too much. Yep, let's just lose this fight. It's okay. It's okay. Made some mistakes. We won't cry about it. Let's go on. Let's uh, start the fight. I know I could have just a caster wild mage or whatever else that would actually work better than a caster illusionist. Actually, anything would... Be yeah, we start losing here just because I have random builds going on. I think I should uh, turn this around and play normally and not lose. <laughs> the wild mage isn't going down. The wild mage will carry us. Him alone. Him and this final bastion thing. <laughs> Let's go for the gold. Let's go for the merchant. Passive. Let's give it to the illusionist. Active though. I could give it to the wild mage. But I don't think I will. Yeah. Let's just drop it. Maybe even the alchemist for duplication of the poisons. I don't care. Let's sell it. Let's sell the Saints of as well. And let's start upgrading what's left. Final Bastion here. And the Symbiote. The Lich's Wraps. And the other Lich's Wraps. And... I guess the Price Scimitar? I guess the Price Scimitar. Let's go on. For an event. Will it be another Interstellar? I think not. Game. Yeah, lose the game. <laughs> You're about to win, lose the game. Let's just get two defense. Uh, how many fights do we have? Okay, if we somehow lose the next fight, we lose anyway. So we don't care about moral. And if we lose four of, of our, four of the five in this and then four of the five in the next. Yeah, well, that would be that. Let's uh, get... Remove a random negative effect. And... And a divine... And let's hope for the best. We have a really bad boss here. Like a really bad boss. Oh, he's just applying. Wait, deal to, to, to your target and apply leech. Apply for divided randomly among your target and chase enemies. Perfect. He will. Every debuff will be in this line. And this guy has the immunity to debuffs. So, yeah, the only debuff he gets is leech. And we don't care about leech because we do too much damage to him. Very nice. This boss was completely countered for this item alone from the enchantress chainmail. And now the boss is trying to destroy the illusions, which won't be happening. Which. Sorry, sorry for the. I hope I didn't destroy your ears with my whistling. I didn't want to whistle. Very nice. Free win. I don't want any of these. Give me the money. Active. Passive. Illusionist. Let's make haste. Active. Let's give it to the outlaw just for the final. No, let's give it to the wild mage. And let's see how this goes. The alchemist. Let's hide the alchemist over here. And the illusionist came over. Let's see what will happen here. Everybody's still alive. Yeah, the bard is healing. Nope, illusion is down. Uh-oh, we might lose. Nope, we survived. We survived. Nice. We almost lost, but in the end we did actually survive. So now the wild mage will start casting here. Because of his active, how it works. And at some point we will win. Only the illusion is dropped. It's okay. 
nice. We didn't even use a lot of potions, as always. Let's continue here. Remove a random negative effect from all heroes. I think I will go with the double holy water. Because I don't want to lose this fight, I will make Bard the caster. In the final fight, I will make Bard the caster, okay? I don't want to lose this with no reason. And I think just once one casting is okay. But I can give the healing over to the illusionist and start the fight in my opinion. So if the Adler drops it's okay. We should win this just because we have a bard in our team and the bard pretty much countered this fight completely. Yeah, I don't think the wild mage will even... Uh oh. I just was going to say that the wild mage won't even play a part of this. But this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I should not have left the Outlaw tank here. I hope he drops. Outlaw, please drop. Outlaw, please drop. Okay, he's surviving. I should have put the Wild Mage in the tanking position. I don't know why I did this. It's okay, we won. The reason is, the mistake here was because the out, uh, the, this boss balances out the life and the Outlaw didn't have much defense. Uh, he had some, but he didn't have as much as the Wild Mage had. Wait, no, he had more. Well, whatever. Don't, don't, don't listen to my theory. Well, my theory was going to be that because the enemy balances the life of the enemies, uh, of my allies, um, you have to put the most tanky person in front so that you don't get destroyed. So yeah, that was uh, that. Hello everybody, Sifra again. After the recording, there was some noise in the end, so I'm just retaking the shot. Anyway, what I was saying was that, uh, yeah, we, we are now in Discord, so come join us. There will be a link in the description. And I'm also a Patreon uh, over there, so there will be a description as well for that. And at this moment, I would like to shout out to Byrobolox for the toppest of the toppest Patreon support he is giving me so if you would like to also support me um, that would be really appreciated of course i'm not forcing anybody so do what you like um yeah that's that also here in youtube likes comments and subscribes are the best way to help me for free i guess <laughs> we are very close to 1000 subscribers and i'm thinking about maybe live streaming in the weekend i will see if i'll do it i'm most likely going to do it if we are a thousand plus and if you would like to be part of the stream, you should subscribe to actually get a notification for it. So there's that. And I think with this we are done. I hope there's not noise again. So yeah. Anyway, thank, ev thank you everybody for watching. Yeah, <laughs> let's make the outro normal. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.